What's up guys? I'm here at our retaining wall repair project and we've run into a little bit of an issue. We've hit some serious rock. If you see here, it's a lot of rock in this one, but this actually broke up with the electric jackhammer. Over here we hit a boulder and it's not breaking up at all. So we went ahead and rented one of these hammers for my Bobcat T66. And we're gonna see what this baby So here I know it looks like the rock is breaking up, but really it's just breaking off little pieces at a time. What's under there must be a massive boulder because we were never able to break completely through it. We just kept chipping at it, breaking off small pieces, sometimes only two, three inch pieces at a time. And uh, we basically spent all day working on it until uh, we had a little issue with the hammer. Well, after about six hours of hammering, Corey broke the hammer. Yep. That guy, right there. That's him. Ah, uh, right there. Yeah, got him. Oh my god. You broke it! I don't know. That's just how you roll. Where did it break? Probably from the inside out, like what you're doing to me. <laughs> we ran into a little bit of an unforeseen issue. This, this wall is supposed to be filled with concrete, and it has been up until this point right here. This is the seventh column. But when we drilled here, the wall was empty. And we actually had a little whoopsie there. We won't talk about that. It was that guy right there. Oh, the wind and the dust today has been pretty bad. When he was fighting this rock, getting it out, curled the bucket, hit the wall, cracked the block. Anyways, we ended up finding out that they filled the block here with stone. God knows what reason. So we called the engineers, asked them what they wanted us to do. He said, pop the caps off, drill some holes in the bottom, get all the stone out of the wall. I'll show you that up here. And then fill those uh, cells with concrete and we need to be at least one cell wider than the cage. You can see we are, this side's like two, this side's like one and a half. Right after we pour the columns, I'm gonna order some extra and then we'll fill this wall, this one and that one. And then when we pour these columns next week, these dowels that go in, they'll all be, you know, uh, secured in there. And we'll put a little piece of plywood over this, so that patches. Look at the raking action. Such precision. Hey, this is a kid-friendly channel, okay, buddy? Those three are ready to go trowel nice and smooth for our forms to sit and then he roughs the rest of this for the black top to grip to real good so we're back at the retaining wall repair job this should hopefully be our last day here we had we got the asphalt patches done. Sorry about the glare. You can see we have all of our pillars up. And uh, the last two things is we have, the last two things we have to do is the line striping here at the curb. And then we have some blocks that we need to mortar back in place because we needed to fill these cavities with the concrete right there. And then right behind this guy here. Then there was a couple other loose blocks down on this side we pulled them off we're going to remortar those in anyway i didn't want to fix the ones down there then leave these guys loose
out the line striping is done it's officially a fire lane now no one will ever park here right got our blocks mortar back in once that dries and we'll touch it up with some paint it'll look fine the ones are right over here right down the line not too bad we reused the blocks because these are caps and the local place doesn't have them so I figured why not just reuse them plus they're already painted this is pretty ugly but hopefully with that pillar there there won't be any more leaning right there yep Mark? Yep. Make sure she's perfect. There. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We are all finished up, blocks repaired. Line striping's done, no parking, fire lane. We got our signs up right there. Another sign up right over there. And that is the finished product. Hopefully, I know a lot of guys will watch this video and say, oh, the wall should have just been ripped down and, and, and built from scratch. And normally I would agree with that. It's just to build this a new wall here correctly, you'd have to take down all this fencing. They'd have to move all that stuff up there. You know, we would have to dig back into the parking area up top. And not to mention, it would also cost about three times the amount of what this repair cost. So the engineers came up with the plan. They said that this would work. And, uh, I, you know, I believe them. I hope they're correct. Hopefully this guy doesn't have any issues. I mean, these pillars are massive. They're 28 by 28. The footing, you can see it comes out. This is like five feet from the wall. It goes three feet down. So there's a lot of concrete in front of the wall spread out. You know, each one of these spots, this is it's almost five yards of concrete. I think one yard of concrete is around 4,000 pounds. So like 20,000 pound anchors spread out in front of the wall it's a little less as it tapers down like come spring we, we already started talking about doing this back wall here which would be a big project it'd be very cool to do you can see this wall look at that baby she is leaning she is leaning something fierce the elevation on the neighbor's side is their, their ground level is like up here so you really I, I told them I said you don't want to wait to the last possible minute for this thing to fail and now you have their dirt spilling out plus they have like five dogs back there um, it would be a nightmare I'll show you there's a couple other spots down here you can see some serious cracking yeah here we go all the cracking here here and for whatever reason, they didn't even stagger the blocks down this end, which I don't understand why they would do that. You see, they're not even staggered. Over there, the bottom half is not staggered, but the top is. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, look at this. Look at this crack. That's bad. So, what the engineers were talking about doing here is leaving this wall because of the ground elevation on the other side and the people have a pool and building a new wall out here like about where these curb stops are again the engineer said it would be fine um you know we'd build the wall not quite as tall as this one as tall as the wall down there which is about seven feet six and a half feet something like that we'd build it right here and then just fill in the whole area with uh drainage stone and it would be fine i think this wall you know putting pressure on it the new wall would be designed to support the load 
I recommend it using ready rock blocks since a lot of time if you use the, the big enough blocks you don't need to use geo grid you know you could just put in a block that's that's 36 inches deep if they if it calls for that you maybe start off with the 36 inch deep block and then as you come up just go to a 24 inch deep block those blocks are so heavy that they don't require as much uh geo grid reinforcement sometimes they do but you know something like this i don't think they will anyways guys thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one got some more stuff coming up a couple paver jobs i'll show you um and i keep I, i'll probably make another video maybe a year or two from now and see how the wall's doing i mean hopefully i get that job back there rolling in the spring you can see the wall starts from down there goes all the way down to the other side so it would be a real big job